So if enlightenment happens, how do we know it has happened? Suppose we are hallucinating to be enlightened. <laughs> if such a thing happens, it will be clearer than daylight. It's not something that you can miss. It is not that kind of an event that you could miss it. You will not miss it. But when I say this, there is a problem attached to this because these days it is going on in many places. For a certain fee, within a weekend's time you can get enlightened. You'll be declared enlightened by somebody. Really? <laughs> It's happening everywhere. If you just pay a certain amount of money, one weekend you can get enlightened. I remember in the sixties, in the nineteen sixties, in California, people set up certain businesses, enlightenment services. The advertisement I remember very well, if you go to India, it will take twelve years of hardship. Fifty dollars, thirty minutes, you can get enlightened. They were just using psychedelic machines. You put up certain visuals and certain sounds, it will just blow your mind apart. Because of the sounds and the visuals, when you come out, you come in a daze. You feel like you have really gotten somewhere. This used to be the advertisement. Fifty dollars, thirty minutes, if you go to India, twelve years of hardship. Here, California, quick, new technology. These nineteen sixty machines, this old technology has now infiltrated into India. Some people have installed these machines and they are claiming within a weekend they can enlighten you. You cannot hallucinate about it. If you are sincere, you would know that it is not so. But if it's a part of the race that you want to get enlightened before somebody, of course you can declare I am enlightened. It is just that. This kind of deceptions are not new on the planet. They have been happening for a long time. But now modern technology has come to aid them better, to give them an expanded sense of many things. Much experimentation was done during the sixties and seventies about these things. One is with the psychedelic machines, another is with psychedelic drugs. You take an LSD and people claim they are enlightened because they had an expanded sense just for a while and then they came back. If they overdid it, then they lost everything, they cracked up in so many ways or even died. Many, many people mentally cracked up because of excessive use of psychedelic drugs. But for those few moments, they really felt enlightened or at least they thought so. This is not something that you do. This is not something that you can do. It is just that if you cultivate the system, your body, mind, emotion and energy to its peak possibility, then an absolutely wonderful flower blossoms within you. Not something that you did, you just waited with the right kind of conditions and it happened. <laughs>